10 Excel A Level Maths Mechanics Summer 2019, Question 5. The points A and B lie 50 metres apart on horizontal ground. At time t equals 0, two small balls P and Q are projected in the vertical plane containing AB. Ball P is projected from A with speed 20 metres per second at 30 degrees to AB, and ball Q is projected from B with speed u meters per second at angle theta to BA, as shown in figure 3. At time t equals 2 seconds, P and Q collide. Until they collide, the balls are modelled as particles moving freely under gravity. For part A, we need to find the velocity of P at the instant before it collides with Q. So, firstly, let's resolve this vertically. So vertically, we've got an initial speed, so it's 20 meters per second, but it's traveling at an angle. And if we look at the triangle created by that 30 degrees, we want the vertical, which is opposite the 30 degrees. So the initial velocity upwards is gonna be 20 sine 30, which is 10. We know that it takes two seconds because we're told in the question, and we know that it's gonna have an acceleration due to gravity of minus 9.8, this is negative because it's going in the opposite direction. So using the formula V equals U plus AT, we get 10 minus two lots of 9.8, which equals minus 9.6 meters per second. We're now gonna resolve horizontally. Well, horizontally, we've got the 20 meters per second. This time we're going through the 30 degrees. So it's 20 cos 30, which equals 10 root three meters per second. Particles moving freely under gravity, so there's no acceleration here. It's going to stay at 10 root 3. So the final velocity is going to be the square root of the sum of the squares of our two answers. So square root of the square of 10 root 3 plus the square of 9.6, which equals 19.8 meters per second. But we also need to find the angle that P is moving at. So we know we've got our vertical velocity of 9.6 downwards got a horizontal velocity of 10 root 3. So putting it in a triangle like this, we can see, because they're perpendicular to each other, we've got a right angle triangle. So to find theta, we're going to do tan theta equals 9.6 over 10 root 3, giving us theta is 29 degrees. So our final answer is 19.8 meters per second at 29 degrees to the horizontal. For part B, we need to find the size of angle theta and the value of u. So let's start by resolving this horizontally. We know that the horizontal velocity of P is 20 cos 30, and the horizontal velocity of Q is U cos theta in the opposite direction. After two seconds, we know they collide. So in two seconds between them, they must have traveled the 50 meters that they were originally apart. So if we add their two velocities together, times by two, this should come to the distance of 50. Simplifying this is 20 root three plus two u cos theta equals 50. Subtracting 20 root three and dividing by two gives us that u cos theta equals 25 minus 10 root three. We're now gonna resolve vertically for each one. So looking at P, we know that after two seconds, it's gonna collide with Q. So they're gonna be at the same height. So if we can find their heights, we can equate these and get another equation. So we're gonna use the formula S equals UT plus half AT squared. So after two seconds, P's height is gonna be two times its velocity upwards of 20 sine 30 plus a half times minus 9.8 for the downwards acceleration times two squared, which is 20 minus 19.6, which is 0.4. We're gonna do the same thing for Q. So S equals UT plus half AT squared so two times u sine theta plus a half times negative 9.8 times two squared, which is two u sine theta minus 19.6. As we say, they're gonna be at the same height. So equating our last two answers gives us two u sine theta minus 19.6 equals 0.4. Adding 19.6 to both sides gives us two u sine theta equals 20 and halving gives us u sine theta equals 10. So we've worked out that u cos theta equals 25 minus 10 root three and u sine theta equals 10. So let's find u and theta. 
if we divide our u sine theta by our u cos theta, well, that's going to be 10 over 25 minus 10 root 3. Looking at this, the u's are going to cancel out. Sine over cos is tan, so we get tan theta equals the right-hand side, which is 1.302. So theta equals 52.48 degrees. We can now put this in to either of our original equations. Let's go with sine. So u sine 52.48 equals 10. U equals 10 over sine of 52.48, which equals 12.61 meters per second. For part C, we need to state one limitation of the model other than air resistance that could affect the accuracy of your answers. One easy one to go with here is that the balls are not actually particles. So in the model, they are modeled as particles. In real life, they're not. This could affect the accuracy. Again, there are loads of answers we could give for this. So the effect of the wind would be one, spin on the ball, anything like that could be an answer. We just need to pick one. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.